Okay, day three is upon us here in the National Hunt, and the final day. Well, we've got a big bunch of races, 12 I think. Um, we're going to start over at Leopardstown, where Martin's going to call them home, where we start with the Lexus Chase, which is a big group one three miler, where we've got some fairly closely rated horses there, Princess Lady Jane for John Morgan, Wild Bill for Paul Rhodes, Unbind for Thunderspark, and Time to Kill for Joshua Southern, which uh, was a three-time winner, didn't uh, come out of it too well last week, ended up finishing eight, though I think he may well have finished as a bit agitated, and hopefully is back to form this week. There's only six sit pounds between the four of them, Although there is Malta Visioni from Wallet Surfer, previous Greek one winner on the soft condition, so it has a chance there. And then you've got Leon Van Rainsburg with a 130. A couple of new horses in that as well. Spaniards in for Darren Thompson. Seven furlongs for Derek Hinton and jamming Jimmy's joint for Stu Gray. That's going to be followed up by the December Festival Hurdle, which is a two-mile one-group hurdle. Again, we've got some lovely hurdlers in this one the big show for joshua Sutton at the top of the pile cumber villara looking for his third win on the bounce for darrow thompson frosty flame from thunderspark and rob laver for paul rhodes who had, seems to have a, a win and then six and then a win and then six so this time it should be a win if it's going in order then you're gonna go over to fakenham for the per temps handicap qualifier it's leg three anything could win that it's a really big field and um, the only previous winner i think in that one is actually Derek hinton's thunder there was a winner last time out the rest haven't got past the finishing post first before you've also got reflect he's a rarity in there for doug warren who's got the form figures that read poo which is pulled up came nowhere zero and uh, unseated his rider unseated his rider then you're going to join me over at Narvum, where I'm going to start with a four Tria chase, which is a two-mile group two chase. Got a few new horses in there. Quebec City for Darren Thompson. Worthy Deep for Doug Warren. The right stuff for Joshua Set Sutherland. But they're all going to have to beat the 150 rated Graham Clutterbuck horse Sonic Lady if they're going to get in the winning closure. Going to be followed up by the bumper. And then a novice maiden hurdle over two mile four. And then I'm going to finish up with another novice maiden chase over two mile four, which is a very small field of only eight runners with a couple of new horses in there, Sun Driver for Thunderspark and Game Set Match for Josh Sutherland. I imagine both of them will be very close at the end. Then Martin's going to go over for a couple of maidens at Ludlow. We've got the Cyborgo maiden. Uh, again, uh, only four new horses in that, which is Loving Brace from Stu Gray, Depalia from James Follis, Knack for Graham Clutterbuck, and Loud Dans for Darren Howes. But also we've got, there's a 132 chaser in there, Igugu Warrior Queen for Paul Rhodes, turning his hand over the sticks. But Banana Split and Black Widow at the top of the pile for Kevin Meenahan and Moilet Surfer will take a little bit of beating. Then we've got a two mile two maiden chase also at Ludlow. Again, some new horses, but a few more this time round, which makes it makes the reason a maiden's there, which is Princess of Light for Alex Cherry. I'm in credit for Doug Warren. Jury Lane for Graham Clutterbuck. Mighty Stu Gray for Paul Rhodes. Get in there. Mutamaka Black for Darren Howes. <laughs> Bell Fortuna for Stu Gray. Thanks for that one, Paul. I appreciate it. I hope I don't have to call it at any point. Then I'm going to finish up, but... Oh, sorry, there's another one at Ludlow. There's a three-mile, two maiden chase. The Master Smudge. Again, a very small field with only four new runners in there. Then we're going to go over to Hereford where I've got a couple of maidens. I've got a three mile two maiden hurdle which I've got a very small field which is only seven going to post but there's three new horses in there. There's Opera Love for Molly at Surfer, Napoleon's Boots for Stu Gray and Four Richer for Darren Howes but again there's, there's a 145 chaser in there, the Mighty Eight for Joshua Southern who came fourth in the listed hurdle. Says he stays up to 3.6 so could be a sneaky little one there. Then we're going to follow up with a four mile maiden chase. Some of the new horses will be coming in here trying to get into the National and the new horses are Zar Creek for Stu Gray. I like this one. I'm going to tip that for something good in the future. Sander Can for Molly at Surfer. Musée des Beaux-Arts for Martin Liedem. Upper Street for Darren Thompson. Pray for a Miracle for Joshua, which I imagine is his seven-year-old trying to get into the National. And Oliver Grace for Darren Howes. But we're up against one little horse in here that looks rather nice, which is a 158-rated Smarts Castle of John Morgan. Only had the one run, came second. Probably looking to improve on that. And we'll, uh, we'll be tough to beat. And then we're just going to finish up with a quick hunter chase to 90. And uh, we've got Russian Foxback returning for Martin Leader. Came in at the uh, break. Uh, it's a 132 rated hurdler. But he's a 99 rated chaser. So he may well just nick in here. Another little... Uh, 
a little sneaky one from there. But Carl Arrigante's got one in there. Darren Houser's got a couple. Alex Cherry with Young Folk and Doug Warren with uh, Japanese Gin and VV Tamima. Kevin Meenahan runs his Francis Drake and Stu Gray just at the bottom with Famous Poet. So that's it for the week, lads. I hope you've all had a really good week and we'll catch up with you next week.